fellow captains, it's DC Mania! <laughs> this is going to be the first little KISS training for you guys. Some of you have expressed opinions that you want to contact your team and the volunteers and supporters in your district. So, here I got a little way for you to do an email blast and to do a text blast. And then the next training we do, we'll do about the telephone. But first off, we'll get going with email and text, all right? So this, in this kind of training, I want you to open two different tabs. I want you to open up the video in one tab on your computer and watch the whole video. It's like 15 minutes long. Watch the whole thing from start to beginning, from start to stop, all right? Get the whole thing under your belt. And then when you're ready to do an email blast or a text, I want you to start the video when it comes, when I come to a point where I'm telling you to do something, pause the video, go over to the dashboard that you have open and do that. Once you complete that task, go back and start the video again as it moves along and I tell you to do something else, pause the video, go over and do that task. And that way you'll learn how to do it without losing your place, okay? Open up several tabs. It works, let me tell you. All right, here we go. Go and get it. Alrighty, we're here. Let's get going. We're going to do DC training for email blast and for the text blast. You all start here right at the conventionofstates.com site. Go over to your profile picture. What I do is go down to dashboard and I right click here and open that link in a new tab. That leaves this COS action page open in case I need to use any of these links over here. I don't have to go looking around for it. So here's my dashboard. Over in the dashboard there's a menu on the left. If you go over there and hover it opens up. Go down to messages. We're going to go over email blasts first. Go to manage email blasts. Click on that baby and you have to wait here sometimes. It might be my computer but anyway you get to these manage emails, They'll, this is my list of emails that I've sent out. When you go there in the beginning, there's going to be nothing there. <laughs> you got to start sending emails out, and I've sent a bunch of them. So go up here to the right. There's this little button that says new email. Click on that. This page comes up here. I don't worry about this pre-fill thing here. Don't worry about it. Okay. You click this available to me. We'll talk about that later. Right now, set up that way with no criteria. There's 11,643 people available to me. And that's, I don't know who that is. <laughs> okay. But anyway, you got to add some criteria to get to the right people. Okay. I want you to open that, add criteria. What we want to do is get in touch in the beginning as a DC. What you want to get in touch with is the people that have already signed up and supported whether they're a volunteer or whether they've just supported us but you want those are the people you want to contact about having meetings and stuff so we're going to get to person here open that up it's got a drop down and here we're going to put is volunteer because those are the real people you want to target is the volunteers all right, so uh, available to me is a volunteer. There's 1,585. I'm not sure who they are. So I'm going to have to add a sub-criteria. I'm going to go down here to voting. That opens up another menu. I'm going to go to lower house. There we go. Click on that. Sometimes that one takes a little bit. Finding that lower house is tough, you know. Come on, baby. There we are. All right. There's 1,585 people there, and I'm not sure who they are yet. So I'm going to define my district. See it in gray there? It says define lower districts. You just click there in that box. Wait a second. It comes up with a drop down. Be careful here. This thing goes fast. you got to find Florida. It's alphabetical. So you got, oop, oop, there's Florida. D-E-F, Florida. I'm in District 60. So you pick your district, whatever it is, I'm in Florida 60, lower house district. That's where I am at DC. So for volunteers, I got 99 volunteers in my, re in my district, okay? 
but we know there's a lot more supporters. And the way I have this all filtered, that's what I'm getting is just the 99 volunteers. If you want to communicate with just them, that's what you do. This is how you set it up. People available to me all and all. All right. If you want to get all the supporters in your district, we change this matching one to any. It changes that word to or. And look, I got 1,965 recipients. Now, this is going to be all of the volunteers or anybody that's supporting us in Florida 60. So this is a bigger group of people. That's who I want to communicate with. The most people I can with the email. Then you come down here to your message. There's some templates in here. You can go look through them and stuff. I don't use... Um, their templates. This one here, Convention of States Action Blank, gives you the uh, banner, okay? I usually put my own banner in. But anyway, you go here and insert the text. Um, say welcome. All right. And see, I don't like that. I don't like that. So I'm going to take that out. Uh, where was it? No template. That's what I do. Okay. And if you want, you can look at my emails. If anybody wants some training on how I do that, um, we're not going to do that right. Well, yes, we will. I'll give you these banners and stuff. If you get with me, I'll put the links up for you. The way I put the banner in is I go here. I click on that picture and then you click on the camera. It opens up my my documents in my back office of, of my in my computer. There's my dog. Okay, I don't want my dog. <laughs> not I always want my dog, but not right now. Come on, baby. See, it's gonna take too long. Okay, just go to pictures. And get in here. See that I have the banner right there. And open it. It comes out in there. You got to put a description. I use banner. And okay. All right. Then we're in. You got to put a subject line in there. Thank you for coming to the meeting or something like that. Anything. Try to spell correctly. That's why they got spell check. So you got that in there. Then comments, are, you would use comments here if you wanted to ask them people to schedule this email at a certain time or something like that. Like, um, I like to send some at different times of the day and stuff. It's a marketing thing. Anyway, you go down here and click save. Watch the little ball spin. Now you're back up here. It comes in, tells you what you're doing. You got a little ball spinning. Don't touch nothing. Can't be blank. Okay, it's only got a picture. So let's put some words in there. Blah, blah. This is a test. I'm gonna, I'm gonna trash this as soon as I'm done with it. All right. Now it's gonna go out to 1,965 people, which is cool. Now down here you got some boxes you gotta check. Okay, don't send emails that involve legislative activity or strategy. You don't want to do that. So you never want to check that box. You want to review this email with another person for formatting and context and check that box. It's required. It's important. Trust me, I make all kinds of mistakes when I think it looks right. I get somebody else to look at it. There's always a couple things we can straighten out down here. This one you don't want to do either. You're not going to express any support or opposition to a political party or candidate. So you should never check that one. Don't do that. This email may contain a message that expresses support or opposition to a political party or candidate. Please review. Don't ever check that. Okay, wait. Back up here. Always check this one. Sorry. <laughs> the one that says does not contain. Always check that one. Don't ever check that one. 
So always check the required one and you check the one that says it does not contain any message that expresses support. You don't want to do that with us. We can't do that. So then you just click ready for review and it will go back into the system for the national guys to look at it. They'll review it for content and they will look at your formatting and stuff. I don't want to send that email to anybody, so I'm just going to delete it right now. We'll click on that. It comes up, says sure. All right. If you don't want it ready for view, just, just leave it sit there and it won't be reviewed. You can click on that edit button. You go back and edit it. Okay. So that one's gone. All right. We're going to move on real quick right now. And I'll tell you, we'll go over here and we're going to manage text messages. And it works the same way that the email did. Okay, I've sent out some text mess. I like the text messages. What I use the text message for is a reminder the morning of the meeting or the day of the meeting. Um, if it's a during the week meeting, I'll send try to schedule that um, text message to go out in the afternoon on the day of the meeting. If it's a weekend meeting, I'll try to schedule it to go out in the morning, you know, something like that. But anyway, go to Nick, new text message. Works just like we did before. You want all the people available to you. You want your criteria the same way. We're going to pick a person. We're going to go down and get is volunteer. We're going to add another career. Criteria. Oops which is uh, going to be voting and lower house. Okay, define lower house. Okay. Oh, oh there's Florida. Oh, oh, there it is. Okay, and I'm DC 60. Boom. There it goes in there. Click over there. 51 recipients. That means there's only 51 people that said it was okay to send them a text message. But we're going to change this parameter again here. To any and see if it makes a difference. Oh, 1134. So we've got more supporters that aren't volunteers. So remember to go click that any deal, get this to say or, you're going to get the volunteers plus the supporters in your district. 1,134 people. Right here, you're going to put your message in here. There's only, you're going to put a title. They don't see it. Don't worry what it says. You just That's just to say what you're doing. In the body here, you got 150 characters. I usually do reminder live meeting at 11 a.m. and give you the, you know, the the address or whatever. Or if you're using it for something else, I don't like to bother people with text messages much. Okay, so that's all you got to do there. I'm not sending anything right now, so we go back. We're done with that. That's all I got for you tonight. That's Kiss training, nice and easy. Um, you know what Kiss means. Keep it simple, stupid. And remember, we got a swamp to drain. Let's get to work, people.